Hey, so it's me, Shani. I'm gonna tell you, let's talk about going to school and being shy. Because if you watch this video, you might think I'm not shy. But I am a really shy person. Like, like really, I mean, like, not even shy. You wouldn't even call it shy. You would call it something else. Because I'm just really quiet. I don't know how to explain it. I'm like so quiet. I don't say a word. I'm so shy. And when people tell me, what do you, how do you feel going to school being so quiet? And then everyone looks at you like you're crazy because you're so quiet. And how people, I don't even really know. Just, Get on your nerve, because you're quiet. And be like, oh, you're quiet, why you don't talk? Uh, shut up, I want to say. He's out there? Too quiet, so I won't say that. Has anyone ever get on your nerve for being quiet? Do you ever want to punch them in the face for them complaining that you're too quiet? Do they get mad or laugh at you? You're in class and... He's calling you, and you don't say the answer, and you don't say, I don't know, or don't answer, because you're too shy to say something. Well, I'm that shy, quiet, I'm that shy, quiet girl who sits in the classroom, not saying a word, only talking to her friend, or people she thinks is her friend. So, I just want to know, what do you all think of shy people? If you hate shy people, tell me. If you don't mind shy people, tell me. If you are a shy person, tell me. Because I know how you feel. If someone's getting on your nerves about you being shy, you can talk to me. I understand. Because I am really quiet. I am, like, really shy. And I am really picky on the people I'm talking to. And I have, like, no friends. I have, like, two friends. Or maybe three and a half, I would say, no. They're not even real friends, because they're... I don't even see them. One lives a couple blocks from me. Rob, his name's Robert. Then I have this other kid texting him. I text Robert. And he came over, comes up, and he used to come over my house a lot. So, and then I have the other friend, Andrew, who works at, he works at Shot Rate. And he doesn't really, I don't really see him. Then I have the other friend, Christy. She's alright. And, yeah, so I'm gonna get like three friends. But they're cool and stuff, kind of. Robert's awesome. He's cute and stuff. And Andrew, he's okay, I guess. Chrissy, she's nice and stuff. But she's like a loud ass person. She is not shy at all. She talk and talk and talk. And apparently she knows everyone. Go. We was in high school together. And all she did was. Every person she's talking. She's like. Hi. 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 She was talking to the freaking teachers. But now I'm in college. And I have no classes. I, mean, I have no friends at school. She could use it to My friend Christy goes to college, do but she doesn't go to school like, at the same time, or if she does, I never see her or anything. So I am in a school, I only have two classes, but I'm at this school with nobody to talk to, I have no friends in college. How pathetic, I know. I was like, I know, sad. I'm all alone. I'm too shy. I wouldn't even talk to them and wouldn't even make a friend because I don't even know how to start a conversation or how to become talkative. Like, my mom, she is a talking person. She makes friends. As soon, every, okay, every time we leave the house, my mom makes a friend. We go into Shari, she'll make a friend in five seconds. We go into Taylor, she'll make a friend. We go into Mandy. To make a friend. 
I don't want to go to any of these stores anymore. Yeah, but we'll go into any store, and he will make a prank. In like a second. I don't know how it will happen. He's gonna make a prank. I'm like, damn. Is that what you talking to someone? For five seconds? Like, how do people become friends? You can write, comment down below and tell me that. How do people just start talking to someone? How do you just get in that conversation? How do you become friends with someone for five seconds? Can you tell me? You're talking to a person and you're watching this channel. They speak really fast. Just tell me down below how you become a talkative person. How do you... And if you're someone that was shy and now all of a sudden you're not shy, comment down below and tell me how you became a social butterfly. Tell me how you became this loudmouth person. This boy loudmouth. Tell me. Tell me. And tell me what to do to get that kind of I'm crazy. I don't even know what to do. I'm nervous about anything. Every minute. Wake up in the morning. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't know. I'm scared things will be loud tomorrow, kind of. Cause tomorrow, the school, I go to school Monday and Wednesday only. That's the only thing I have about me in college, and I'll be in high school next. I only have two classes, and I don't have to go to school every day. And that's the best thing I love about being in college. I don't have to go to school every day. I should be in school. I am not a school person at all. If it was for me, if it, if it was up to me, I would not be in school. I am freaking forced. Well, not forced, but my dad said I should go to college. Because I guess I should, because I don't have a job or anything. Because I'm 18, I should have a job, but I don't. See, that's another bad thing about being shy. I don't have a job because I'm like, I'm like scared, kind of, and you don't want to work. And I'm too lazy, too. So scared and shy and I don't really want to work so I don't have a job or anything. So being shy really affects your life. So not only without a job, but that's the kids are asking that stuff. That stuff is hard for me. So stupid. So please You're shy, tell me. Being shy sucks. Maybe you want to tell me you're shy. Or tell me the story. If you have a story for being shy or anything, tell me. Blog on. And now let's turn things Clint over just, to Phil. Clint's TV guy. He says, Blog on. So, Blog on.